So this video is going to show um, converting a 3800 from uh, CapWeb to <coughs> uh, Mobility Express. Obviously, you have to go online and download the latest versions, 83102. Both the CapWeb version and the ME, um, as you'll see in my program, that you will need to have both. Um, to actually get the AP upgraded. So here I just show you that one both. Okay. And then, okay, so what you see up there is the three <coughs> SVIs I have, um, VLAN one, two, and three. And um, what you're basically seeing now is the AP boot up. And um, the process takes a lot longer. I've clipped these videos so that it doesn't take that long for people to understand the process. Okay, so here AP is finally booted up and I go into trying to download the um, upgrade the firmware on the CalPAP AP because it comes up with 82111 and that needs to be upgraded to 83102 and that happens via the actual um, uh, CapWeb upgrade. Um, first thing I tried to upgrade it without an AP, IP set on the AP and that failed. Um, obviously there's no way for that to uh, TFTP to happen. So then I um, go ahead and set an IP address on the AP and then I uh, proceed with um, uh, running the uh, archive command again and this time it actually you'll see runs okay so I actually start typing the command for the IP here um, and once that happens um, momentarily and then that's it. I go ahead and run the archive command again. Voila. And here's the process. So it's upgrading the AP to 83102 is where we should see it after the AP is downloaded the firmware and reboots. So we'll go ahead and verify that after the um, download is completed and the AP is um, rebooted. So I'm going to go ahead and pause on the um, video. Okay, so we're back and we're able to verify that 83102 is actually running on the AP now and that's good. So we can go ahead next to upgrading the CapWap to ME. Okay, since we're ready to go ahead and upgrade the AP's uh, firmware, um, I'm going to go ahead and use that command ap-type space mobility express tftp and then your tftp service IP address with the file name that you want to transfer onto the AP. Um, and we'll go ahead and let that transfer once the transfer is done, um, again, it's going to reboot, it's going to boot up as an AP, and then it will take a, some time to um, let the controller boot up. So you'll see it come up as an AP first, then, um, you know, be patient, and you'll see it convert into the controller, um, and then you'll get the auto install um, window to come up. So I actually have that. Um, in my next video frame. <laughs> All right, so here the AP is booted up again, and um, at this point, um, I actually catch where the AP, the wireless LAN controller, takes uh, an effect. Um, so if you're familiar with the boot up of a controller, you'll notice that those um, lines are very similar. Um, but basically, we'll, we'll get to um, you know, your basic controller provisioning. 
um, interface and um, what else um, here we go auto install you know terminate it and then, uh, put your basic credential, uh, credentials um, here I just build a dummy network um, just for you to see the process um, that it's no different than building um, a controller at 5500 or 5520 or what have you. Okay. And the last video clip you will see is the actual login uh, from the browser. So I'm going to go ahead and stop my audio because it's just a bunch of, um, you know, going through that install process. All right. All right, the controller is now completely um, rebooted after the auto conf uh, config. Um, just logging in to show you the interface, and then we'll move the GUI. Okay, go ahead and log into the browser. Um, go ahead and accept the certificate. <clears throat> Again, it's our standard controller. Log in. And in this video, I'm not going to go into the details of um, A3 code, but that's um, to be continued. Um, there'll be another video on the blog um, in the coming weeks. So that's it.